One candidate was interviewed by six of us at once. Each of us had the opportunity to ask two or three questions. I came away thinking, a euro or he won a stick. Awkward person he is a euro the second candidate I met privately over coffee, and we immediately discovered we had a close, mutual friend. As we talked, I became increasingly impressed by what a a euro won, engaging, Stimulating person she is a euro only later did I remember the fundamental attribution error and reassess my analysis. I had attributed his stiffness and her warmth to their dispositions. In fact, I later realized such behavior resulted partly from the difference in their interview situations. Why we study attribution errors this chapter, like the one before it, explains some foibles and fallacies in our social thinking. Reading about these may make it seem, as one of my DM students put it, that a euro e social psychologists get their kicks out of playing tricks on people a euro actually. The experiments, though sometimes amusing, are not designed to demonstrate a euro or e what fools these mortals be a euro their serious purpose is to reveal how we think about ourselves and others. If our capacity for illusion and self-deception is shocking, remember that our modes of thought are generally adaptive, Illusory thinking is a byproduct of our Minda Euro trademark S strategies for simplifying complex information. It parallels our perceptual mechanisms, which generally give us useful images of the world but sometimes lead us astray. A second reason for focusing on thinking biases such as the fundamental attribution error is humanitarian. One of social psychology on Euro trademark S a Euro or at rate humanizing messages. A Euro noted Thomas Jalark and Richard Hibbert, 2001, is that people should not always be blamed for their problems. A Euro Emory often that people are willing to acknowledge failure, disability, and misfortune are the product of real environmental causes. A Euro a good reason for focusing on biases is that we are mostly unaware of them and can benefit from greater awareness. As with other biases, such as the self-serving bias, people see themselves as less susceptible than others do. Attribution Errors, Cronin, 2008. You will probably find more surprises, more challenges, and more benefit in an analysis of errors and biases than you would in a string of testimonies to the human capacity for logic and intellectual achievement. That is also why world literature so often portrays pride and other human failings. Social psychology aims to expose us to fallacies in our thinking in the hope that we will become more rational, more in touch with reality, and more receptive to critical thinking. Summing up, how do we explain our social worlds? Attribution theory involves how we explain people a euro trademark s behavior. Misattribution a euro attributing a behavior to the wrong source a euro is a major factor in sexual harassment as a person in power typically male, interprets friendliness as a sexual come on. Although we usually make reasonable attributions, we often commit the fundamental attribution error when explaining other people in Euro trademark s behavior. We attribute their behavior so much to their inner traits and attitudes that we discount situational constraints, even when those are obvious. We make this attribution error, partly because when we watch someone act, that person is the focus of our attention and the situation is relatively invisible. When we act, our attention is usually on what we are reacting to a euro the situation is more visible. How do our social beliefs matter? Describe how our expectations of our social worlds matter. Page 78 Having considered how we explain and judge others a euro efficiently, adaptively, but sometimes erroneously a euro we conclude this chapter by pondering. The effects of our social judgments. Do our social beliefs matter? Can they change reality? Our social beliefs and judgments do matter. They influence how we feel and act, and by so doing they help generate their own reality. When our ideas lead us to act in ways that produce their apparent confirmation, they have become what sociologist Robert Merton, 1948, Turned self-fulfilling prophecies a euro beliefs that lead to their own fulfillment. If led to believe that their bank is about to crash, its customers race to withdraw their money, their false perceptions may create reality, 
noted Merton. If people are led to believe that stocks are about to soar, they will indeed. See a euro focus on the self-fulfilling psychology of the stock market a euro, self-fulfilling prophecy a belief that leads to its own fulfillment. In his well-known studies of experimenter bias, Robert Rosenthal, 1985-2006, found that research participants sometimes live up to what they believe experimenters expect of them. In one study, experimenters asked individuals to judge the success of people in various photographs. The experimenters read the same instructions to all their participants and showed them the same photos. Nevertheless, experimenters who expected their participants to see the photograph people as successful obtained higher ratings than did those who expected their participants to see the people as failures. Even more startling a euro and controversial a euro are reports that teachers saw euro trademark beliefs about their students similarly serve as self-fulfilling. Self-fulfilling prophecies. If a teacher believes a student is good at math, will the student do well in the class? Leave a euro trademark s examine this. Focus on the self-fulfilling psychology of the stock market on the evening of January 6, 1981. Joseph Granville, a popular Florida investment advisor, wired his clients, a euro of stock prices will nosedive, sell tomorrow a euro word of Granville a euro trademark s advice soon spread and January 7th became the heaviest day of trading in the previous history of the New York Stock Exchange. All told, stock values lost $40 billion. Nearly a half century ago, John Maynard Keynes likened such stock market psychology to the popular beauty contests then conducted by London newspapers. To win, one had to pick the six faces out of a hundred that were, in turn, chosen most frequently by the other newspaper contestants. Thus, as Keynes wrote, a euro each competitor has to pick not those faces which he himself finds prettiest, but those which he thinks likeliest to catch the fancy of the other competitors. A euro investors likewise try to pick not the stocks that touch their fancy but the stocks that other investors will favor. The name of the game is predicting other saw euro trademark behavior. As one Wall Street fund manager explained, a euro I you may or may not agree with Granville a euro trademark s you a euro but did a euro trademark s usually beside the point a euro if you think his advice will cause others to sell. You want to sell quickly before prices drop more. If you expect others to buy, you buy now to beat the rush. The self-fulfilling psychology of the stock market worked to an extreme on Monday, October 19, 1987 when the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 20%. Part of what happens during such crashes is that the media and the rumor will focus on whatever bad news is available to explain them. Once reported, the explanatory news stories further diminish people in Euro trademark s expectations, causing declining prices to fall still lower. The process also works in reverse by amplifying good news when stock prices are rising. In April of 2000, the volatile technology market again demonstrated a self-fulfilling psychology, now called a euro momentum investing a euro after two years of eagerly buying stocks, because prices were rising, people started frantically selling them, because prices were falling. Such wild market swings a euro a euro or irrational exuberance a euro followed by a crash a euro are mainly self-generated, noted economist Robert Schiller. 2005. In 2008 and 2009, the market psychology headed south again as another bubble burst. Page 79 Teacher expectations and student performance teachers do have higher expectations for some students than for others. Perhaps you have detected this after having a brother or sister precede you in school. After receiving a label such as a Euro Egypt and a Euro or a Euro e learning disabled, a Euro or after. Taking a Euro Ahano or Sa Euro classes. Perhaps conversation in the teacher Sa Euro trademark lounge sent your reputation ahead of you. Or perhaps your new teacher scrutinized your school file or discovered your familia Euro trademark S social status. Either Euro trademark S clear that teacher Sa Euro trademark evaluations correlate with student achievement. Teachers think well of students who do well. 
Do the Euro trademark S mostly because teachers accurately perceive their students a Euro trademark abilities and achievements? A Euro work about 75% of the correlation between teacher expectations and student future achievement reflects accuracy. A Euro reported Lee Jessup, Stacy Robust Kelly, and Thomas King, 2009. Simply said, expectations mostly a Euro we reflect rather than cause social reality a Euro, Jessup, 2017. But our teachers saw Euro trademark evaluations ever a cause as well as a consequence of Student performance. One correlational study of 4,300 British school children suggested yes, students whose teachers expected them to perform well indeed performed well. Crino and Mellon, 1978. Not only is high performance followed by higher teacher evaluations, but the reverse is true as well. A Euro teacher saw Euro trademark judgments predicted students a Euro trademark later performance even beyond their actual ability. Sargent, 2013. Could we test this a Euro editor expectations affect a Euro experimentally? Imagine we gave a teacher the impression that Olivia, Emma, Ethan, and Manuel a Euro for randomly selected students a Euro are unusually capable. Will the teacher give special treatment to these four and elicit superior performance from them? In a now famous experiment, Rosenthal and Lenore Jacobson, 1968, reported precisely that randomly selected children in a San Francisco elementary school who were said, on the basis of a fictitious test, to be on the verge of a dramatic intellectual spurt did then spur the head in IQ score. That dramatic result seemed to suggest that the school problems of a Euro and disadvantage a Euro children might reflect their teachers on Euro trademark low expectations. The findings were soon publicized in the national media as well as in many college textbooks. However, further analysis a Euro which was not as highly publicized a Euro revealed the teacher expectations effect to be not as powerful and reliable as this initial study had led many people to believe. Jessam E.T.A.L. 2009. Spitz. 1999. By Rosenthal a Euro trademark S own count, only about 40% of it. Nearly 500 published experiments showed expectations significantly affecting performance. Rosenthal, 1991, 2002. Low expectations do not do a capable child, nor do high expectations magically transform a slow learner into a valedictorian. Human nature is not so pliable. High expectations do, however, seem to boost low achievers, for whom a teacher a Euro trademark S positive attitude may be a hope giving breath of fresh air. Madonna ETAL, 1997. How are such expectations transmitted? Rosenthal and other investigators report that teachers look, smile, and nod more at a Euro and high potential students. A Euro teachers also may teach more to their A Euro Egypt and a Euro students, set higher goals for them, call on them more, and give them more time to answer. Cooper, 1983, Harris and Rosenthal, 1985, 1986, Jessen, 1986. In one study, teachers were videotaped talking to, or about, unseen students for whom they held high or low expectations. A random 10 second clip of either the teacher a Euro trademark S voice or the teacher a Euro trademark S face was enough to tell viewers a Euro, both children and adults a Euro, whether this was a good or a poor student and how much the teacher liked the student. You read that right, 10 seconds. Although teachers may think they can conceal their feelings and behave impartially toward the class, students are acutely sensitive to teachers on Euro trademark facial expressions and body movements. Bob ETAL, 1991. How much can a teacher a Euro trademark S expectations influence a student a Euro trademark S performance? Monkey business images slash Shutterstock. What about the effect of students a Euro trademark expectations upon their teachers? You no doubt begin many of your courses having heard a Euro or a Professor Smith is interesting a Euro and a Euro or a Professor Jones is a board a Euro Robert Feldman and Thomas Prohaska. 1979, Feldman and Tice. 1982, 
found that such expectations can affect both student and teacher. Students who expected to be taught by an excellent teacher perceived their teacher, who was unaware of their expectations, as more competent and interesting than did students with low expectations. Furthermore, the students actually learned more. In a later experiment, women who were falsely told that their male instructor was sexist had a less positive experience with him, performed worse, and rated him as less competent than did women not given the expectation of sexism, Adams ETAL, 2006. Page 80 were these results due entirely to the students and Euro trademark perceptions were also to a self-fulfilling prophecy that affected the teacher. In a follow-up experiment, Feldman and Prohaska, 1979, videotaped teachers and had observers rate their performances. Teachers were judged most capable when assigned a student who non-verbally conveyed positive expectations. To see whether such effects might also occur in actual classrooms, a research team led by David Jameson, Jameson ETAL, 1987, experimented with four Ontario high school classes taught by a newly transferred teacher. During individual interviews, they told students in two of the classes that both other students and the research team rated the teacher very highly. Compared with the control classes, Students who were given positive expectations paid better attention during class. At the end of the teaching unit, they also got better grades and rated the teacher as clearer in her teaching. The attitudes that a class has toward its teacher are as important, it seems, as the teacher and Euro trademark S attitude toward the students. Getting from others what we expect so the expectations of experimenters and teachers, although usually reasonably accurate, occasionally act as self-fulfilling prophecies. Overall, our perceptions of others are more accurate than bias, just in 2012. Self-fulfilling prophecies have a euro than extraordinary power a euro yet sometimes, self-fulfilling prophecies do operate in work settings, with managers who have high or low expectations, in courtrooms, as judges instruct juries, and in simulated police contexts as interrogators with guilty or innocent. Expectations interrogate and pressure suspects. Cass and ETAL, 2003, Rosenthal, 2003, 2006. Teens whose parents thought the Euro trademark D tried marijuana a Euro even though they had the Euro trademark T a Euro were more likely to subsequently try it. Lamb and Prino, 2014. Do self-fulfilling prophecies color our personal relationships? Sometimes, negative expectations of someone lead us to be extra nice to that person, which induces him or her to be nice in return a euro thus disconfirming our expectations. But a more common finding in studies of social interaction is that, yes, we do to some extent get what we expect. Olson ETAL, 1996. In laboratory games, Hostility nearly always begets hostility. If someone believes an opponent will be non-cooperative, the opponent often responds by becoming non-cooperative. Kelly and Chanelsky, 1970. Each part of Euro trademark S perception of the other as aggressive, resentful, and vindictive induces the other to display those behaviors in self-defense, thus creating a vicious, self-perpetuating circle. In another experiment, People anticipated interacting with another person of a different race. When led to expect that the person disliked interacting with someone of their race, they felt more anger and displayed more hostility toward the person. Buds and Plant, 2006. Likewise, whether someone expects her partner to be in a bad mood or in a loving mood may affect how she relates to him, thereby inducing him to confirm her belief. According to Sandra Mariah Euro Trademark S Research, viewing your partner through rose-colored glasses has benefits. Lane OD slash blue gene images slash Getty images so, do intimate relationships prosper when partners idealize each other? Are positive illusions of the other a Euro Trademark S virtue self-fulfilling? Or are they more often self-defeating, by creating high expectations that can a Euro Trademark T be met? Among University of Waterloo dating couples followed by Sandra Murray and 
Associates, 1996A, 1996B, 2000, Positive Ideals of Owning Euro Trademark S Partner Were Good Owens. Idealization helped buffer conflict, bolster satisfaction, and turn self-perceived frogs into princes or princesses. When someone loves and admires us, it helps us become more the person he or she imagines us to be. Page 81 When dating couples deal with conflicts, hopeful optimists and their partners tend to perceive each other as engaging constructively. Compared to those with more pessimistic expectations, they then feel more supported and more satisfied with the outcome. Sri Mustafa ETAL, 2006. Among married couples, too, those who worry that their partner doesn't a Euro trademark T love and accept them interprets like hurts as rejections, which motivates them to devalue the partner and distance themselves. Those who presume their partner a Euro trademark S love and acceptance respond less defensively, read less into stressful events, and treat the partner better. Murray ETAL, 2003. Love helps create its presumed reality. A Euro were at more he treated her as though she were really very nice, the more love he expanded and became really very nice, and the more he, affected in his turn, became really very nice himself, so that they went round and round, not in a vicious but in a highly virtuous circle. A Euro A Euro Elizabeth von Arnhem, The Enchanted April, 1922 Several experiments conducted by Mark Snyder, 1984, at the University of Minnesota show how, once formed, erroneous beliefs about the social world can induce others. To confirm those beliefs, a phenomenon called behavioral confirmation. For example, male. Students talked on the telephone with women they thought, from having been shown a picture, were either attractive or unattractive. The supposedly attractive women spoke more warmly than the supposedly unattractive women. The MENA Euro trademark S erroneous beliefs had become a self-fulfilling prophecy by leading them to act in a way that influenced the women to fulfill the MENA Euro trademark S stereotype that beautiful people are desirable people. Snyder ETAL, 1977. Behavioral confirmation a type of self-fulfilling prophecy whereby people a Euro trademark S social expectations lead them to behave in ways that cause others to confirm their expectations. Behavioral confirmation also occurs as people interact with partners holding mistaken beliefs. People whom others believe are lonely behave less sociably. Rodenberg ETAL, 2002. People who believe they are accepted and liked, rather than disliked, then behave warmly a euro and do get accepted and liked. Stinson ETAL, 2009. Men who mothers believe are sexist behave less favorably toward women. Pinel, 2002. Job interviewees who are believed to be warm behave more warmly. Imagine yourself as one of the 60 young men or 60 young women in an experiment by Robert Rich and Jeffrey Reaver, 2002. Each man is to interview one of the women for a teaching assistant position. Before doing so, he is told either that she feels attracted to him, based on his answers to a biographical questionnaire, who are not attracted. Imagine being told that someone you were about to meet reported considerable interest in dating you, or had no interest whatsoever. The result was behavioral. Confirmation, applicants believed to feel an attraction exhibited more flirtatiousness, without being aware of doing so. Rich and Reaver believed that this process, like the misattribution phenomenon discussed previously, may be one of the roots of sexual harassment. If a woman at Euro trademark S behavior seems to confirm a man at Euro trademark S beliefs, he may then escalate his overtures until they become sufficiently overt for the woman to recognize and interpret them as inappropriate or harassing. Expectations influence children at Euro trademark S behavior, too. After observing the amount of littering in three classrooms, Richard Miller and colleagues, 1975, had the teacher and others repeatedly tell one class that they should be neat and tidy. This persuasion increased the amount of trash placed in waste baskets from 15% to 45%, but only temporarily. Another class, 
which also had been placing only 15% of its trash in waste baskets, was repeatedly congratulated for being so neat and tidy. After eight days of hearing this, and still two weeks later, these children were fulfilling the expectation by putting more than 80% of their litter in waste baskets. Tell children they are hardworking and kind, rather than lazy and mean, and they may live up to their labels. Behavioral Confirmation If each of these people feels attracted to the other, but presumes that feeling is a Euro trademark T reciprocated, they may each act cool to avoid feeling rejected a Euro and decide that the other a Euro trademark S coolness confirms the presumption. Daniel Stinson and colleagues, 2009, Note that such a euro easel protective inhibition of warmth a euro dooms some would be relationships. Elijah slash I stock slash Getty images overall, these experiments help us understand how social beliefs, such as stereotypes about people with disabilities or about people of a particular race or sex, may be self confirming. How others treat us reflects how we and others have treated them. Summing up, how do our social beliefs matter? Our beliefs sometimes take on lives of their own. Usually, our beliefs about others have a basis in reality. But studies of experimenter bias and teacher expectations show that an erroneous belief that certain people are unusually capable or incapable can lead teachers and researchers to give those people special treatment. This may elicit superior or inferior performance and, therefore, seem to confirm an assumption that is actually false. Similarly, in everyday life we often get behavioral confirmation of what we expect. Told that someone we are about to meet is intelligent and attractive, we may come away impressed with just how intelligent and attractive he or she is. Concluding thoughts, reflecting on illusory thinking a euro may rob the average man of his life illusion, and you rob him also of his happiness a euro a euro Henry Gibson. The Wild Duck, 1884, page 82, is research on cognitive errors too humbling. Surely we can acknowledge the hard truth of our human limits and still sympathize with the deeper message that people are more than machines. Our subjective experiences are the stuff of our humanity, a euro, our art and our music, our enjoyment of friendship and love, our mystical and religious experiences. The cognitive and social psychologists who explore illusory thinking are not out to remake us into unfeeling logical machines. They know that emotions enrich human experience and that intuitions are an important source of creative ideas. They add, however, the humbling reminder that our susceptibility to error also makes clear the need for disciplined training of the mind. The American writer Norman Cousins, 1978, called this a euro or at biggest truth of all about learning, that its purpose is to unlock the human mind and to develop it into an organ capable of thought a euro conceptual thought, analytical thought, sequential thought a euro a euro or at more powerful you are. The more responsible you are to act humbly. If you don't a euro trademark T, your power will ruin you, and you will ruin the other a euro a euro Pope Francis, TED Talk, 2017 research on error and illusion in social judgment reminds us to a euro judge no a euro a euro to remember, with a dash of humility, our potential for misjudgment. It also encourages us not to feel intimidated by the arrogance of those who cannot see their own potential for bias and error. We humans are wonderfully intelligent yet fallible creatures. We have dignity but not deity. Such humility and distrust of human authority are at the heart of both religion and science. No wonder many of the founders of modern science were religious people whose convictions predisposed them to be humble before nature and skeptical of human authority. Umikas, 1972, Merton, 1938. Science always involves an interplay between intuition and rigorous test, between creative hunch and skepticism. To sift reality from illusion requires both open-minded curiosity and hard-headed rigor. This perspective could prove to be a good attitude for approaching all of life. To be critical but not cynical, curious but not gullible, open but not exploitable. Asterisk the air distance between New Delhi and Beijing is 2,500 miles. 
Asterisk the word a euro where a euro appears twice. Asterisk Bainbridge bridge island is across Puget Sound from Seattle. Mary was ordered beheaded by her cousin Queen Elizabeth I. Although the African continent is more than double the area of Europe, European Euro trademark S coastline is longer. It is more convoluted, with many harbors and inlets, a geographical fact that contributed to its role in the history of maritime trade. Page 83, Chapter 4, Behavior and Attitudes, JGI slash Jamie Grill slash Getty Images. A Euro or an ancestor of every action is a thought. A Euro, A Euro, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Essays, First Series, 1841. How well do our attitudes predict our behavior? When does our behavior affect our attitudes? Why does our behavior affect our attitudes? Concluding thoughts. Changing ourselves through action on a rainy October morning in 2018, congregants gathered for Saturday services at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. Within a half hour, 11 were dead, shot by a man armed with an assault rifle and three handguns. Before it was over, the gunman had also wounded six others, including four police officers attempting to stop him. The shooter was Robert Bowers, a trucker who lived in suburban Pittsburgh. In the months leading up to the shooting, Bowers freely expressed his hatred of Jews, primarily by posting anti-Semitic anti-Semitic statements online. Katz, 2018. Bowers saw Euro trademark hateful and extreme attitudes seem to spur his hateful and extreme behavior. This is what we usually expect. Private beliefs and feelings determine our public behavior. Thus, the thinking goes, if we want to change behavior, we must first change hearts and minds. Page 84, but, in general, how much does what we are, on the inside, predict what we do, on the outside? Not as much as you might think. This chapter explores the interplay of attitudes, our inside beliefs, and behavior, our outside actions. A euro will that we are is the result of what we have thought. A euro, a euro, Buddha, Dhamma Buddha, BC 563, a euro 483 in social psychology. Attitudes are defined as beliefs and feelings related to a person or an event, Eagley and Chapin, 2005. Thus, a person may have a negative attitude toward coffee, a neutral attitude toward the French, and a positive attitude toward the next door neighbor. Attitude feelings, often influenced by our beliefs, that predispose us to respond favorably or unfavorably to objects, people, and events. Attitudes efficiently size up the world. When we have to respond quickly to something, the way we feel about it can guide how we react. For example, a person who believes a particular ethnic group is lazy and aggressive may feel dislike for such people and therefore intend to act in a discriminatory manner. You can remember these three dimensions as the ABCs of attitudes, effect, feelings, behavior tendency, and cognition, thoughts, figure one. A euro worthy thought is the child of action. A euro, a euro, Benjamin Disraeli, Vivian Gray, 1926, figure one. The ABCs of attitudes, the study of attitudes is central to social psychology and was one of its first concerns. For much of the last century, Researchers have examined how much our attitudes affect our actions. How well do our attitudes predict? Our behavior? State the extent to which, and under what conditions, our inner attitudes drive our outward actions. A blow to the supposed power of attitudes came when social psychologist Alan Wicker, 1969, reviewed several dozen research studies covering a variety of people, attitudes, and behaviors. Wicker offered a shocking conclusion. People in Euro trademark S expressed attitudes hardly predicted their varying behaviors. Student attitudes toward cheating bore little relation to the likelihood of their actually cheating. Attitudes toward organized religion were only modestly linked with weekly worship attendance. Self described racial attitudes provided little clue to behaviors in actual situations. Many people say they are upset when someone makes racist remarks, yet when they hear racist language, many respond with indifference. Kawakami ETAL, 
2009. The disjuncture between attitudes and actions is what Daniel Batson and his colleagues, 1997, 2001, 2002, Vol Solo and Desteno, 2007, 2008, call a Euro Emerald Hippocritian Euro, appearing moral while avoiding the costs of being so. Their studies presented people with an appealing task with a possible $30 prize and a dull task with no rewards. The participants had to do one of the tasks and assign a supposed second participant to the other. Only one in 20 believed that assigning the appealing task with the reward to themselves was the more moral thing to do, yet 80% did so. Even when told to randomly assign tasks with a coin flip, more than 85% still gave themselves the better paying assignment a euro meaning a good number were pipping about the coin flip a euro trademark s outcome. When morality and greed were put on a collision course, greed usually won. In 2017, U.S. Representative Tim Murphy of Pennsylvania provided a shocking example of the disconnect between stated attitudes and actual behavior. Stridently anti-abortion from the beginning of his political career, his behavior was different when an unintended pregnancy affected him. When the woman he was having an extramarital affair with believed she was pregnant, he asked her to get an abortion. Dalbeck and Taylor, 2017. Murphy then resigned. A euro very pro life in the streets, pro choice in the sheets. A euro quick one pundit. Wiener, 2017. Behaviors and attitudes don't at euro trademark T always match. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey went massless at the Republican National Convention in 2020 weeks after rolling out a a Euro Emiscop, Arizona Euro advertising campaign encouraging citizens to wear masks when around others. Similarly, California Governor Gavin Newsom attended a large gathering at a restaurant in November 2020 after advising others not to gather in large groups. Saul Loeb slash AFP. Images how do we judge our social worlds, consciously and unconsciously? How do we perceive our social worlds? How do we explain our social worlds? How do our social beliefs matter? Concluding thoughts, reflecting on illusory thinking there is curious power to partisanship. Consider American politics, in a May 2020 poll, 74% of Democrats said the worst was yet to come in the COVID-19 outbreak which began in February 2020. Among Republicans, 71% believed the opposite a euro that the worst was over. There was a similar split of opinion about how well the U.S. government was handling the crisis. 82% of Democrats said the government was doing a poor job, and 80% of Republicans said it was doing a good job. Agiesta, 2020. When a Democrat is president, Democrats say Presidents Kane and Euro trademark T do anything about high gas prices. 
Republicans say the same right now. 